Jesus Christ, really? Don't forget to become a member of Unrelent Gaming's Patreon for exclusive manga content and early access. Isn't that right, Seth? I already joined his Patreon today. Tons of great stuff on there, actually. But did you really have to blow up the city? Mm, yes. You blew up the domino. You blew up the domino and you're laughing. Do you realize the f***ing crisis here? And you will be next. Unless you subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications right now. Or else what? You'll aggressively scream another man's name for several hours? Kakarot! Kakarot! Though I can't imagine the pain that you must be going through while down there, you must continue to find the strength you need to stand back up and fight. I can feel something deeper within you beginning to awaken, and so if this is what I believe is to be true, then the time of your awakening is soon at hand and your ultimate evolution is closer now than it ever was before. As our story continues with Master Ultra Instant Goku now shown quickly having to maintain balance in stabilizing himself before being thrown out of the ring, as with Goku now quickly shown having to act on instinct in doing what he could to survive, it was just upon Goku now being shown having to do so where Yoshida went on to comment, say, how long do you think this has until he finally kicks the bucket down there against Budo? His only saving grace seems to be running dry out there, and so how long do you think he has? With Akuma responding, given what we are seeing, the mortal likely has a few minutes left before he is either knocked over the edge or knocked out cold, he says. He's taken more damage than Budo anyway, and so it's likely that Budo is either going to continue to use the Saiyan's own history to his advantage and win, or he will revert back and use his true power to smash the mortal into the canvas. So either way, whatever he decides to do, the Saiyan is done for, Akuma says. To which as soon as we now get to see how Goku is beginning to undergo tremendous amounts of attacks from below, it was only upon Grenoku Black being shown sniping Goku where Yoshida went on to ask, and what say you, Takeda? Surely you're not still under the assumption that Goku is being underestimated, are you? He is. Now just watch and you will see, with Yoshida responding, so you're never any fun. Oh, and what do you think, Grand Minister? Do you believe this Saiyan standing on his last legs too? Well, given the status of this battle, the Grand Priest responds, though I am impartial on the situation, I don't see Goku beating Budo as this goes on unless he is somehow able to use something and go about the fight in ways that he has yet to display thus far, he says. But I do agree with Takira here, he continues. Goku should not be underestimated, especially when he is backed into a corner with no means of getting out except by going through what's in front of him, he says. And well, I can tell you this because I was there to see this from myself during the Tournament of Power against Jiren, and so we will wait and see how this concludes. As back down on the battlefield with a plume of smoke now shown covering the ring, it was just upon Grenoku Black being shown having to turn his back where Yoshida went on to comment, yeah, well, it doesn't look like the Saiyan has many options left down there anyway, because look, Budo dropped him again as Grenoku Black went on to chime in, and back down you go. You may start the countdown now, Grand Minister, the Saiyan would be foolish to try try and rise back up and continue if he knows what's good for him, and so he's done. Oh, now hold on, the Grand Priest responds. Look there. So, how much more persistent is this Saiyan mortal going to be, Akuma asks. As it was from out of nowhere through the smoke, as soon as Goku was now shown having to emerge, he was only just then dead set in making his move as Granoku Black had his back turned. As Goku from there went on to shout, I said it before, and so I'll say it to you once again, Budo. You 
aren't going to beat me by using my own history against me, Goku shouts. Which in the same breath, as soon as Goku is now shown striking Gronoku Black in the spine, and now further giving Goku the opportunity and sending Gronoku Black's body flying outwards, it was only upon Goku now being shown having to do so, where Goku went on to continue, and I overcame the odds then, and I will make sure that I overcome the odds against you now. Oh, now I see the Grand Priest chimes in. He adapted, and so I assume that this is your doing, Whis? Was this what you mainly helped train Goku for? As Whis went on to respond, it was. And so as long as Goku remembers the lessons that went along with his training, then over time as this fight continues, he will begin to adapt more and more to Budo's morphing ability and hold out against the warriors that he chooses to use against him. Oh, interesting, the Grand Priest responds. Now I see why Goku is able to bounce back in surprising fashion. Huh. He's evidently using this as a means to grow and match Budo's choice of warriors. Very exciting stuff, I will say, as Akuma went on to shout, oh, Budo! The ring! In which within that moment, as soon as Budo was now shown having to vanish, that was when Goku went on to chime in, darn, he's disappeared again! Oh, which means he's already on his way and making his move. Oh, and I think he knows what's going on. Which is why he is probably going to continue to change unless I fully break through his ability to shapeshift into anything else. So oh, easy now, Goku. Just try and relax, Goku went on to say to himself. Remember what we said about seeing through an enemy's facade. He can only choose to even himself out to the body that he chooses to morph into. And so unless he decides to use his real power against me while I'm active on the stage, then all I would have to do to best him is adapt, Goku says. To where that was exactly what Goku ended up doing because the moment Budo had now decided in morphing himself into Bujito, it was only just then despite Budo being shown changing yet again where Bujito went on to shout, gotcha Saiyan! But then, it was as quickly as it happened with Goku shown having to avoid this where Whis went on to further observe this by responding, yes, yes, that's it! That's what I need for you to do, Goku! You are finally realizing it. One's history cannot be used to work against them if they've already prepared themselves for any and all possible things to go against them. Yes, and as long as you understand the dangers of what may come with the history that is used against you, then you will never fall to it ever again. As despite even with Budo now being shown shape-shifting back into Cell Max, and from that point even now attempting to crush Goku from behind with Goku being shown effortlessly blocking it, even while the others were observing as Goku went as far as to blast Cell Max out of the ring, it was only upon Goku now being shown having to do so where Yoshido went on to add, Do my eyes deceive me or does it look like the mortal is fighting Budo's morphing ability off with his eyes closed? Ah, oh, that fool. We told him to finish the Saiyan off the moment the bell rang, but instead decided to wage a psychological battle instead, Akuma chimes in. Well, you don't obviously think that Budo doesn't already see what's going on here now, does he, Yoshido asks? Because he clearly isn't taking Goku all that seriously just yet, as Akuma responds, Well, now he does, and so one of two things are about to happen in a matter of moments. So watch closely and let's see, with the Grand Priest having to then inform Whis by telling him, Well, credit where credit is due, Whis. You did well to prepare Goku for a situation like this, so well played on your end for adjusting him into making sure that he was able to adapt to his history, rather than of course having him fall to it, with Whis responding, Well, it most certainly wasn't easy for us to master at first, but I knew that Goku could pull through by seeing through his own history being used against him in such scenarios. And so I think that now that Goku fully understands the nature of what his opponent Budo in this case is bringing to the table, and I don't see this being used to throw Goku off balance anymore, Whis continues. Especially since you can see that with his movements and spirit fully in sync, unless something drastic were to happen to shift these current events, then Goku may in fact actually go as far as to win, with the Grand Priest responding, I see. Well, this was a pleasant turnaround to see unfold then. 
again, though of course I am not surprised given that I've seen him fight before, and I truly wonder if this will truly be it, or maybe simply the beginning of something more terrifying to come. To where even now with Goku being shown not only having to go as far as to dodge each and every single one of Budo's blasts, but Goku now even once again had gone as far as to unleash yet another key blast in attempting to get rid of Budo as Akuma went on to chime in, I've had enough of watching that Saiyan do what he's doing. He should have been annihilated seconds after the Grand Priest called for this to start. I'm swapping in with him and putting an end to this, but then, all of a sudden, silence as Yoshida went on to respond, hey wait, do the rest of you feel that coming from behind the smoke too? Has he finally decided to take the Saiyan seriously with Akuma responding, yes, of course, and so from here on, now that Budo knows what to expect from the mortal, he stands absolutely no chance of beating him now, as through the smoke we now finally get to see how it looked as though Budo was now done in playing any of Goku's games, as Budo went on to address Goku by telling him, interesting Saiyan, and here I assume that by using your own history against you, that you surely would have lost much sooner than I anticipated, but yet there you stand. Whis did well by your side to prepare you for such obstacles, Budo continues, but now that I see that you are only going to get stronger through such things, now you have my full and undivided attention, Goku. And so now I think I've seen enough. Though I was hoping for you to crack under the pressure of waging war with your own memory, if there was anything that you've demonstrated here against me, it's that I'm going to have to hit you a lot harder than I previously was doing if I want you to stay down. And so, from here on, you will no longer have to worry about me shape-shifting into anyone from your past, because from here on, you will be facing the real me with my real power. As Goku went on to respond, wasn't expecting to have me see right through your smoke and mirrors, huh? Well, so then what now? Should I expect to see what the fifth strongest in the multiverse is really made of? Or are you going to continue to try and bait me into fighting memories of my past because let me be the first to tell you, just in case you haven't already noticed by now, but it's only going to make me stronger the longer this goes. Oh, you think I don't already know that, Goku? It's expected that you would grow stronger during our fights, but I'm not in the least bit worried, and would you want to know why? It's because you and I both know that this is all that you have. Anything beyond this current level of power you wield is but a dream, and so if you think that I'm bluffing about what I already know about you, then I welcome you to try and prove me wrong, because now I'm about to show you the difference between what you can do and what I can do. And so all I needed was a little warm-up, with Goku responding, uh, We'll see which one of us stands last then. I know what it is that I would need to do to beat you, and so I'm just going to continue to push back against you until I found what it is that I'm looking for, Budo. You shouldn't overlook me just yet, and if you're planning on finally taking me seriously, then I guess I was more than impressive enough to prove you wrong before, Goku shouts. In which the very moment Goku is now being shown dashing directly towards Budo, Whis went on to then say to himself, oh, careful now, Goku. This isn't something that you want to go into so recklessly. This won't be the same. To where even with Goku now being shown attempting to punch Budo with Budo effortlessly shown leaning out of the way, that was when Yoshido went on to ask, so, what do you think? How quickly do you think Budo will kill this Saiyan with Akuma responding, Budo should consider himself extremely lucky that we didn't swap out because now that he will go and take this warrior seriously, all hope for this Saiyan to win are now completely out the window. To where even upon Budo being shown effortlessly blocking Goku's kick, that was when Budo went on to then tell Goku, nice try, I can see everything Saiyan, you are far too slow, as within the blink of an eye before you know it, Budo without hesitation was from there shown glaring at Goku and from that point being shown striking him multiple times as Goku from there went on to say to himself, oh, what intense pressure, I've got to do something and fast, oh take this, take what, Budo asks, what lousy aim, you missed again, as Yoshido went on to also chime in, Budo must have punched the Saiyan so hard that he's starting to see things, because look there, what is he doing, as Whis went on to say to himself, I remember this, as we just then begin to notice how the original blast that was 
was shot by Goku behind Budo had now stood in place, to which Goku had still attempted in striking Budo anyway, with Budo being shown catching Goku's punch, it was only from there where Budo had then gone on to tell Goku, such feeble attempts at victory, though you should consider this to be an honor among those who were never brave enough to call any of us out for a duel, I will give you credit by noting that perhaps you are worthy of fighting a warrior of my supreme stature, Budo continues, but even so, you are still nowhere near worthy of being acknowledged as anything like the five of us. I can see every single one of your attacks coming, almost as though you are moving in slow motion, Budo says, and because I can see your attacks and feel your heart begin to beat ever so faster, that is why you will lose! As from out of nowhere before you know it, as Goku is now being shown struck in the stomach, Budo had now seemingly hit Goku with such velocity and such pressure behind it, that even the others while watching this had gone as far as to feel this impact, as Yoshida went on to add, ah, now there's the Budo we all know, hey Akuma, did you hear what I just heard, did you? No, what did you hear, Akuma asks. Now I'm no expert on humanoid Saiyan anatomy, but I think I just heard Budo break some of the mortal's bones just now, near his rib cage there. Pretty brutal, I'd say, especially since he had multiple chances to turn around and go home. What a stubborn little thing these Saiyans are, as the Grand Prince went on to also add, Now I may be the oldest here, but I'm afraid Yoshido is right. For I too heard a few crunching sounds after that blow to Goku's stomach, to which even despite Goku's body shown having to break down on him, Goku had still initially refused to back down or quit from this challenge, as Goku went on to stabilize himself by shouting, N no I'm not done! Oh crap, he's gone! Oh, he moved faster than I can blink and I didn't even take my eyes off of him! Oh damn it, where did he go? I can't feel his energy anywhere! Oh, it's like he completely vanished from the no realm! Ah, uh, my ribs! I think he's broken some of them, Goku says. Uh, I've got to find him, and fast! But then, it was unbeknownst to an unsuspecting Goku now from behind, where Budo had now been shown having to come up from out of nowhere and elbowing Goku in the spine by asking, Looking for someone, Saiyan? Well, look no more! To which it was only upon the moment of impact now, with Goku's body being shown hitting the stage below, that it almost appeared as though everything within the Null Realm was beginning to shake as both Yoshido and Akuma while having to see this remained eerily quiet, with the sheer force of impact behind Goku's body hitting the stage below now ricocheting all across the No Realm, even the Grand Priest now was seemingly taken back by this as the Grand Priest went on to comment, goodness, what a landing, as Whis went on to say to himself, no Goku, not like this, this was exactly why we put your body through the rigorous training that we did, and so you cannot allow your body to quit out on you, push. Push Goku with Yoshino chiming in. Oh, just look at him down there. He looks like a bloody pile of meat just waiting to be devoured. To where even Goku himself now was desperately shown trying to get back up as he was shown struggling with Goku uttering, I I I've got to try and fight. Ugh. I I can't let let this be how it ends. As you can almost kind of feel the pain that's emanating from Goku as he was desperately trying to stand back up, but then, before Goku was even shown having the opportunity to do so, he was only then from above now being shown getting blasted down by Budo with multiple energy blasts as Whis went on to continue, and I understand the pain you must be feeling down there, but if you don't fight to live another day, then who will be there to protect the ones you love? To where Budo was shown giving out no mercy to Goku as he was not planning on having Goku stand back up, it was only upon Budo now being shown having to stop, where Budo went on to then comment, Prideful creature, I dare you to try and stand back up and fight me after that. For once in your miserable little existence, do yourself the favor if you value what's left of your body, and swallow your pride and stay down. Remain where you are or quit, those are your only two options that you have left, Budo says. And so now that that's over, you may start the countdown process, Grant.
Grand Minister. He's reached the end of his rope anyway, with Akuma chiming in, <laughs> it's over. Let him try and use those lifelines of his if he wants to after this. I'll swap out with Budo and put an end to this circus once and for all, and so this is done. His power has been cut down to nearly one third of what it just was. His story ends here, with even Yoshiro commenting, well now wait a minute, who says that you'll be the one to tag Budo out and fight the Saiyan? If he decides to use any of those lifelines of his, then it'll be me who jumps in next, Akuma. Oh, he's barely moving in that crater, the Grand Priest went on to tell Whis. Though I understand Goku is your student, I must begin the countdown process now, with Whis responding, Yes, I understand. Oh, come on now, Goku. Why is it so difficult for you to merge your two powers into becoming one? To which, even to the surprise and shock of everyone there, including Yoshido, as they were now beginning to witness Goku move down below, it was only just when everyone was now beginning to see this where Yoshido went on to utter, Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Look, he's moving. The gall on this guy, huh? It's almost like he's a glutton for punishment, right? He probably worships the fact that he's putting his body through such pain, with Akuma responding, Well, it's how these creatures apparently get stronger, so it doesn't strike me as a surprise if that's what he's getting out of this with Budo, as Goku went on to utter, w Whis, I, I, I'm trying. God, rise. Please rise. D don't give out on me now. Oh, look, he's trying, Yoshido points out. Will he do it? Will he stand back up again? Who wants to make a wager with me that he will? Anyone? To which, unfortunately enough, instead of now seeing Goku rise back up like he did before, he was now instead shown collapsing back down as Yoshido went on to ask, Oh, how pathetic was that? Ugh, good thing nobody decided to take me up on that offer then, huh? Oh dear, this isn't good, we says. His body has taken too much damage since the bell was rung. He's struggling within. Like I said, Saiyan, humor me and just try if you dare, Budo went on to tell Goku. I want to see if you have the guts and the willpower to get back up and continue this beating that you have coming. Three, four, five, as with the Grand Priest now shown counting down, Whis went on to then say to himself, oh, if there was ever a time for you to truly break through your shell into becoming the greatest that you can possibly be, then that time is calling for you right now, Goku, for I'm afraid that it's the only option that you have left that will save you from losing both this tournament along with your life. To where in the meantime, when then going back onto Earth, in seeing as to how Orange Piccolo was now battling one-on-one -on -one against Cooler, it was only upon Cooler now being shown having to hold the upper hand against Orange Piccolo, where Frieza went on to chime in, and I hope you know that your little orange friend up there is running on borrowed time, Guardian. Though as impressive as it is seeing Piccolo reach such levels of power, my brother is much, much stronger than him, with Dende responding, Aw, oh, come on, Piccolo! You can win! You are all that we have that stands in the way of Earth and everyone on it being destroyed! To where even despite Orange Piccolo trying to do his best in fighting back, it was just upon Cooler now being shown grabbing onto Piccolo's punch, where Cooler went on to respond, Not bad, Namekian. Looks like Orange seems to be helping you a lot better than Green did, but you're still no match for me, and deep down, you know it. With Piccolo responding, We'll see about that, you monster! Oh, that's right, Piccolo. We will, Cooler quickly responds. To where upon Cooler now shown having to headbutt Piccolo before smashing him back down onto the lookout, it was just upon with all of this being shown happening where Cooler went on to continue, I have yet to really show you what the depths of what my power is really made of. But who knows, Cooler continues, maybe you'll be lucky enough to see it, or maybe you won't live long enough to have the chance to witness it, worm. In which as Piccolo was now shown sliding towards the edge of the lookout where Frieza had then gone on to continue, oh, I tried warning you that this would happen, but you creatures here on this planet do have a hard head, and now look. <laughs> Oh no, Piccolo! Are you alright? Don't let it end this way, just please hang on! Oh, it doesn't look like your little orange friend is going to make it out of there. Oh, poor old Piccolo, Frieza continues. He should have done what was right and saved himself the pain of being beaten down onto the ground like this, but I guess he would have died sooner or later against us anyway, Frieza continues, and so it's only fitting that he is the first to go. 
Oh, and don't worry, little green. You'll be the next one to join him once my brother puts this slug out of his misery. So just watch. Now, I don't expect you to understand what me and my brother had to do to prepare for this day, Cooler went on to tell Piccolo, but it doesn't matter if you did, because you would have perished along with those monkeys one way or another. But then, it was just as Piccolo's body was shown dangling over the edge of the lookout, where Piccolo had from that point noticed someone having to now approach the lookout as Piccolo went on to then say to himself, What will I'll be? There he is. Took him long enough to get up here, but I couldn't be any happier that he did. Hopefully now we can turn this all around and put these monsters in their place. Enough of these childish games, Namekian Cooler says. If you won't tell us where Goku and Vegeta are hiding, then you are simply expendable to us. You were lucky enough to hold out against me with this new form of yours, but so what? Where exactly did it get you by the very end? Nowhere, Cooler continues. So perhaps a sacrifice is needed in order to draw those worms out of hiding, and so this is where you come in. Any last words before you die, Piccolo? With Piccolo being shown turning his head and responding, y you're a fool. If you think that this fight that both you and your brother started here is over, then you have another thing coming. Especially now that the odds are even and I'm not alone. Now you're in for it. Smash him, Gohan! As it was only just then, right then and there, from out of nowhere beneath the lookout, we then bear witness to none other than Beast Gohan having to now arrive in saving the day. As with Beast Gohan now looking to even the playing field, it was right before Gohan was shown attacking Cooler where Gohan went on to respond, Why don't you try and do what you did to him on me? Hang on, Piccolo! What the Cooler says? But where did he just... But then, before Cooler could even go as far as to get another syllable out, that was when Beast Gohan went on to stick his arms out by shouting, Now you've done it! Worry about this, you monster! Ah, oh, you little insect, Cooler says. As it was just within that very moment with Gohan shown having to fire off the Masenko, where Dende was now shown completely relieved by the fact that Gohan was now here to save them, as Frieza went on to ask, Is that really Gohan? Yes, but it is. Very interesting, Frieza continues, as with Beast Gohan now shown helping Piccolo up, that was when Beast Gohan went on to then ask him, Hey, are you okay, Piccolo? Sorry I wasn't able to make it here a little sooner. I had to get Pan and Videl to safety just in case things got ugly here, with Piccolo responding, Yeah, don't sweat it. It's a good thing you got here when you did, otherwise that would have been it for me. So that was Frieza's brother, I imagine, right, Gohan asks? And so just what the heck do they want anyway, with Piccolo responding, Oh, it's the same old story with Frieza. He's here with his brother because they're after your father and Vegeta, but something's off with them. Yeah, I can see that, Gohan responds, because why do I feel my dad's power along with my own coming from Frieza? And I can also sense Vegeta and Moro's coming from his brother, too. What's going on? With Orange Piccolo responding, I'm not really sure, but we'll figure that part out a little later. My oh my, bravo, Gohan! And it would seem as though Father Time hasn't withered you completely away after all. Quite the look, I will say. Although the hair seems to be a bit much, but, well, who's really counting these days? Am I right, Frieza asks? Oh, it's been far too long since I laid my eyes on you. Tell me something, Saiyan. You wouldn't happen to know where your father and Vegeta might be, do you? Or like I'd ever tell you, Gohan responds. Why are you even after them anyway? They're both clearly not here, so why even bother to come here? With Orange Piccolo responding, Hey, Gohan, look, through the smoke. As lo and behold, through the smoke, as we then see how Cooler was still standing in the exact place where he was, it was only as he was now beginning to slowly but surely lower his guard, where Cooler went on to address Gohan by telling him, So, you're Goku's son, are you? Yes, I can see that you're quite the powerhouse, because unlike the Namekian, that one actually hurts a lot, Cooler continues. But it's a good thing that I was able to absorb some of that energy and recover, because now you've got my blood pumping, and so I'm intrigued. 
Now what do you say you and I have a little bit of fun and see which one of us is the mightiest warrior as I beat the information of where those monkeys are out of you, Cooler says. And it'll certainly be worth me using more of my latent power against someone semi-worthy of fighting me anyways, so how about it, boy? And now that I have the chance to meet and engage against the son of the very Saiyan that we're looking for, I'm going to personally see to it that I make this all worth your while, Gohan, as it was only right then and there during that moment where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of the top 5 strongest warriors in the multiverse manga chapter number 33 special then comes to a close. Now, you can make no mistake about the fact that something big is coming and to kind of go as far as to give you all a little bit of a preview as to what is to come, as of course all of my Patreon members have already seen, I want you guys to go on ahead now and see into what we have planned coming very shortly on the channel that I think is going to put everything into perspective once of course it ends up happening. Take a look. So it was as I told you guys, as long as you give me the time, I will give you guys the best that I possibly could. So again, if you want to be the first in not only having to witness Goku's upcoming transformation, but so much more, including gaining access to exclusives and so many other things, then I do encourage you all to become a member of my Patreon today, patreon.com slash gaming, to where I will go on ahead and leave those links located down in the description box below and pinned comment section below as well, to where I also want to go on ahead and give a huge thank you and shout out to all of the current Patreon members that are actually on there because if there's anyone to give you a testimony and tell you about all the things that we do on there then it's definitely all of the active patreon members on there now to where i can't wait to show you guys everything that's about to transpire involving cooler and gohan goku and budo so again i want to thank you all so much for watching everybody again thank you all so much for your time to where if of course you also just so happen to be new to the channel then i do encourage you all to head on over and smash that subscribe button on top of giving this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button down below tune back in for more because there is a whole hell of a lot more coming and with that being said i am going to be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video take it easy everybody and have a great day peace hello did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest dragon ball content by simply subscribing to unrelent gaming also don't forget to follow on these social media platforms you sexy son of a bitch roshi silent cell me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video.